Okay, so we're just going to do a quick video on tyre safety checks as we head into rainy season. Um, I'm filming on my own today, so hello. Um, <clears throat> so, as you'll be aware from your preparations for driving test, um, the weekly checks we would typically conduct on our tyres would be our pressure checks. So we just slip the valve cap off. And we identify in the vehicle's handbook or on a, a plate, a sticker on the car, what the correct tyre pressure should be. And then we use a reliable pressure gauge or pressure pencil like this one just to check the tyre's cold pressure. And the other check and inspection we do is for tread depth. So we look at the tread grooves and we use a tool like this and insert that put a little green foot across the tread groove, push the measure down, and then we can read the depth of tread. And we should read that in all of the grooves. Um, and as you'll know from your um, driving test, uh, tell me question, the answer to that question would be that the legal minimum, the legal minimum is 1.6 millimeters of tread depth. Let me just show you what that looks like on this gauge. So 1.6 millimeters is about that, so nothing, nothing at all. Um, but it's 1.6 millimeters across the center three-quarter width of the tire and around its entire outer circumference. So the inner edge can wear slightly more than that, unbelievably, um, because of the toe-in, toe-out, and caster angles of setup of a of a wheel and tire. Um, but the outside edge and the middle three-quarter width must be a legal minimum of 1.6 millimeters. Now, uh, most motoring organisations, road safety organisations, would advise that three millimetres is the safe minimum. And the other thing we're looking for are any um, cuts, bulges, um, or obvious um, egg-like shapes um, from impact with kerbs or potholes. But so if we looked at this tyre, at you know, face value it looks pretty good. I mean, the, the tread depth actually, in this instance, is actually measuring Still measuring between five and six millimeters and a new tire is um, about seven millimeters but if we look a bit closer here we can start seeing some very fine hairline cracking begin to appear um, often referred to as dry rot um, I don't know if that's its technical term but some certainly some deterioration and it would imply hardening of the rubber and if we look a bit closer again, we can see the date stamp of the tyre in this little lozenge here. Got a four digit date stamp. I'll try and colour that to make it a bit more obvious on the camera. And you can see that, so we've got 1816. So that means production week 18 of a 52 week year in the year of 2016. So we're coming up, uh, it's late December. 2023 so we're heading into 2024 so as you can appreciate that tire is now very old um, despite having clearly had very limited wear from the previous owner um, of this car um, and so on that basis um, I'm not an MOT inspector I'm not a tire expert but I am a father um, so this car will now be receiving four new tires in readiness for the rainy season because not only can these cracks expand and split particularly if we have an impact um, with potholes at this time of year um, but also the rubber itself will have age hardened um, and so its grip and adhesion particularly in these colder winter months um, will be much much less and the reduce of uh, spinning wheels um, will increase so just something to be aware of, um, age deterioration is quite common um, if you inherit a car from a grandparent. So in the latter years of driving, grandparents uh, often will do limited mileage. Um, you know, literally a few miles each week pop into the shops. And their tyres will sit there. If the car is garaged as well, it'll be protected in many ways. Um, but they will be ageing significantly. Um, and uh, a friend of mine actually inherited a car from, uh, from his grandparents when they stopped driving. And when we looked at it in detail, it had passed an MOT test, but his tyres were 16 years old. Um, and organisations such as Tire Safe 
and the campaign tired which campaigns for an age limit on tires and would all advise that uh, tires of that age are well past their safe usage date so just something to be aware of as you're doing your weekly flower checks